Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. We've got another Friday update for you and it looks like it's a bug fix and improvements update. Uh, not a complaint, as long as they're fixing the game, I'm super happy with that. So let's go ahead and jump in, let's see what they're, they're talking about here. Uh, Dear Stormworkers, this week is update week and the smaller update that focuses on some bug fixes and issues. For some players, this isn't it that exciting. I can understand that because people want parts and stuff, but fixing the game is always super important for me. Uh, while for others, some of these issues are critical and will solve some blocking problems. The next minor update in two weeks will have a new feature, which we are excited about. A new feature. Interesting. Uh, not new parts, new feature. Uh, and it is something players have been asking for for a while. Hmm. Is that, could that be fishing? Uh, could that be... What could that be? Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think this new feature might be. Let's, uh, let's speculate for a little bit. Uh, please see the patch notes below for the full list of fixes in this week's update. Is this really all this is? Last week, we discussed some stats around Stormworks, and in the comments, many players shared their playtime info, spending the average of 100 hours in game and a lot of hours in achievements. But there are many players with some very impressive hours. Thank you for all the kind comments, too. On the official Discord server, you can apply for the Stormworker role once you have 1,000 hours. Uh, when we first launched this role, we didn't think that many of you would get there, but one or two users would get promoted per week. Now it's several new Stormworkers each day with a total of almost 1,000 hours. The biggest hours count I can remember seeing on someone's profile is around 13... 1,600 hours. Uh, they really have impressive workshop too. Uh, I know somebody is getting close to that too as well. Uh, that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, talking about Discord, the server now has 10 million, almost 11 million messages posted of which, uh, wow, images don't care. It's it's. I need some better information than this. This The community is very active. That's great. While we love checking out the chat on Discord and browsing the incredible creations on the Vehicle Showcase channel, it would literally be a full-time job to read every message. Uh, so you could hire somebody uh, to do that, and they could actually read every message, and then you would actually know what's going on, I would feel like. Uh, that feels like a full-time, you know, that's job security for somebody, really. Uh, we do read some. Uh, that feels like we read a few and then just throw the rest into the trash. But uh, mostly focused on the issue tracker. Since launching the issue tracker around a year and a half ago, 20,000 issues have been posted by players. And on the old tracker, there were many, many more. Thank you to all the players who have been taking time to effort for feedback. This is the fuel that powers our updates. Many of these issues are features, requests, suggestions, and many are duplicates, so don't necessarily reflect unique things to be done. These numbers are mostly Stormworks, but around 14% are Carrier Command 2. Yeah, again, we don't play that, so we don't really care too much about it. Wow, check out this crane here. I wonder who these, uh, these images are that they took. Uh, let's get down a little further here. This is still a huge amount of feedback to process. It's really important to us that we consider and react to everything we can. Around six months later, we launched our internal tools for tracking tasks. So far, we've planned 3,000 plus pieces of work, most of which have been implemented and released, but many in projects and testing. These tasks are things that have internally planned to do and are usually a few hours of work, a few days of, wait, what? These tasks are things we have internally planned to do and are usually a few hours to do a few days of work. Is that even a sentence? These tasks are things we have internally planned to do and are usually a few hours to do a few days of work. I don't know if I'm reading that right, but that feels like that's not a real sentence. This gives us a central place to write notes and info about tasks, track progress, testing priority milestones, and more. It helps our efficiency a lot and also helps gamify the development anyway. All right. Um, if this was supposed to be a fix and updates, there's not a lot here, which is really uh, concerning. Diagonal surfaces interfering with surface culling. Pistol inventory block weight allows smoke coloring effects when damage at overheating is off. Flare gun firing twice. Export 3D model crashing due to unsupported character glyphs. Mounted welder functionality on servers. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. I've had a lot of issues with this where I've got mounted welders on my props and props will break and you're trying to weld those up and it just does not work. So if this is fixed, this is a great fix here. I'm happy about that one. Uh, persisting issue with spawn vehicle rope not spawning as expected. Added oil trading to arc refinery and simplified default resource trading script. Uh, I wonder if that is changing the fact that every time you sell a leader, it goes up by like 0.01 cents. Uh, I wonder if that's changed it there. Uh, it doesn't feel like a lot of fixes and updates for a so-called 
bug fix and improvements update but uh we're gonna be jumping into stormworks today and playing around so i guess we'll see how much better it is the main one that i'm excited about is this mounted welder um as you can see i've talked about it quite a bit but uh let me know what you guys think about this update uh if you're excited about some bug fixes i know everybody's excited about bug fixes because it makes the game better as long as they work but yeah guys thanks so much if you're enjoying these update videos make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and we will see you guys in the future